Welcome back, Eloc Nation. Thanks for being here. Perfect time to get this buried in the ground, taking it out of this grow bag and planting it straight in the ground. I wanna spend the night at hers and bring her one of my t-shirts. So it's, it's already leafing out. Spring is on the way. So I want it to grow up along this fencing here. Let it take off. Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating, you can't stop looking at her smile. Then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. There's something about the way she laughs and the way she always dances when she thinks. <laughs> Hey everybody, I'm Nikki. I live for DIY projects, gardening, cooking, and just being my unique self. It's time to party, baby! Meanwhile, my husband and I are raising our daughter and son, both with special needs. And we can't forget to add Delta and Nala, our German shepherds, to the mix of shenanigans. Yes, it's a lot, but I love it. I love them, so it's all worth it. Welcome to my channel, the everyday life of an OCD-ish chick. So I'm doing some rearranging out here. These are all of my tomatoes and herbs here. So I started moving some of these milk jugs in the areas where they will be planted permanently. So my peppers will be planted all here in this left bed. In the middle bed will be uh, eggplant and squash. And then here I'm gonna have beans planted here, but I just wanted these containers to just get a little bit more sun in this area. So there will be beans planted here on the right. I don't know where she came from Kind of turned me upside down I just don't know what to do I want to spend the night at hers And bring her one of my t-shirts So it smells like her perfume Now I really get what the love songs are talking about And 
and I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Sweet potatoes aren't grown from a seed. They're grown from slips. Slips are the sprouts that come off of the sweet potato. Each slip will grow into a sweet potato plant that will produce about two pounds of potatoes. Once the slips are a few inches long, they can be pinched off of the sweet potato and rooted into water or into soil in a four inch pot. Sweet potato slips can be transplanted outside in the garden in the spring when soil temperatures are about 65 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, this was sewed on 3.8, germinated on 3.15. Oh, look at my baby. My very first germinated loofah gourd seed. I'm really excited about growing this plant this year. I want to eat some as well as bathe with some. Eating and bathing. <laughs> Look at her, she is really growing up. Lily is standing tall. Grow, Lily, grow. That's my girl. doing really well. Just adding more soil in here because the plants were standing up. Let me show you exactly what they were looking like. They were looking like this. When I came out, they were all looking like this. The stem was showing and so I wanted to give them more support, so I filled it in with uh, soil like that. Because we want all of those little stems well supported, so I filled it all in with more soil. Um, depending on how this weather is acting, I may or may not need to add a little bit more soil before I transplant these. The weather is still a little tricky. But right now they seem to be pretty happy. So I'm just tickling it in with my finger, getting in between every little seedling here. Just tickling it in, making sure it drops down to meet the other soil level down there. And just yeah, flicking it a bit so that it stands up. And making sure I didn't hide or cover any of them. But as you can see that one, let me add a little more soil there so it stands up a little bit more like that. Yeah, just want to support those, those little baby stems. Yeah, as they grow up to be strong adults. Okay, so yeah, much better. Because they were just so tall and they were, I was afraid they were going to start leaning. Leaning, leaning. Okay, my plants are continuing to do well inside these domes. This is the arugula. This is the 
black seeded lettuce, Paris Island lettuce, and the spinach hadn't germinated in my last update. So let's see if it's, let's see if there's any change. There was zero, zero germination before. Ah, well, ha ha. Yes, yes, yes. All right, all right, spinach, come on through. This is the Bloomsdale Long Standing Spinach. Okay, yeah, so the last update, yeah, there was nothing in here. And I remember saying at the time, just, yeah, it just needs a little bit more time, needs a little bit more time. So the other siblings, they're taking their sweet time as well. So yeah, you know, it's just not their time yet. But when it is, baby. But when it's their time, they will wake up. It's time to party, baby. Make sure, yeah, I wanna keep all of that good heat in there. Yeah, I like when I see all that condensation in there. Keep these down, I like to even brush a little of the soil around the rim, fill in those air pockets. That always helps. This is my oregano. This was already planted from last year. Still hanging in there strong. Oregano is rich in antioxidants, fights against bacteria, regulates diabetes. Be kind and patient to yourself as well as others. We're all going through something. See you next time. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe to the channel. Find something you love and have fun doing it. Thanks for watching.